Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shazib signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Quan Network. Regulated tokenized money. It's going to be an interesting one guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks you can uh, uh, check out the official crypto growth partners for the exchange we've got mexe you can follow the link in the description box below to look into the rebates discounts lowest fees and benefits and uh, as far as the uh, wallet is concerned you can check out decent they've got uh, their biometric wallet which has got an attractive 50 dollars off and uh, you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an astonishing 129 dollars off only if you follow the link in the description box below so uh, let's see what's happening with QNT in real time. Uh, can we get new news and new info from the community from official handles? So let's uh, find out. This is 11 hours ago from Zaven the rapper. Okay, uh, cool name. QNT 87K in 2032 still. Okay, so this is some mind-boggling price prediction over here the estimations of quant's price the year 2050 will be determined by the maximum qnt price of 62.1 okay 62000 uh, okay that's awesome <laughs> if that happens that will be insane guys to be honest because at the moment uh, quant is struggling uh, in the 50s this is awesome Determined by the maximum QNT price of 62,171. However, its rate might drop to around 52,964. I do not know what the market cap would be. And uh, even the, and the utility proponents say that market cap won't matter when utility is going to be injected in a project. So up until that point in 2040, uh, that's for sure we will find out or 2050. If we are all here, we will find out what the price is and what's happening with quant. But if uh, it is anywhere near, e not even this, guys, if it is uh, anywhere near the uh, 10,000 level even, guys, that would be insane and awesome. But as far as the use case is concerned, uh, it, it is awesome. Quant's use case is certainly phenomenal. Look at this 12, hour, 12 hours ago. By the way, if the team delivers, because if it if the team does not deliver, uh, regardless of the vision and the use case, it is all for nothing. So uh, let me uh, rephrase what I said. Quant's expertise in regulated tokenized money. We've worked on some of the most forward thinking digital finance projects of recent years. Look at this. LAC Chain 2022, a USD retail cross-border B2B and remittance payments infrastructure in South America, LAC Chain. We've got uh, Project Rosalind, a retail central bank digital currency experiment with the Bank for International Settlements and the Bank of England. Uh, this is great. We've talked about Project Rosalind time and again and uh, how they are working on international settlements and uh, cbdc's uh, this is this is one of the projects that i am really interested in how this goes forward bank of england bis then we've got 2024 uk regulated liability network the future state of uk payments including ubiquitous programmability ubiquitous basically means universal global so ubiquitous programmability and tokenized deposits with uk finance representing uk based commercial banks so this is awesome all the while setting standards and registering patents such as ISO TC307, DLT interoperability, and IETF draft RFC secure asset transfer protocol. <coughs> so they are basically trying to meet the standard, meet the mark of the 
a uh, new modern financial system uh, let's see what the people have uh, replied over here got a link for that here we go enjoy reading digital transformation in banking financial services and insurance let's see what this is all about this is uh, official quant uh, website over here digital transformation in banking financial services and insurance the future of money by rachel baugh earlier this month senior european finance professionals gathered in amsterdam for the digital transformation in bfsi event our chief product officer martin hargreaves delivered a keynote presentation on the future of money we believe that tokenized money secure and programmable will allow commercial banks to build new products create new revenue lines and simplifying existing processes so look at this for tokenized money to work it must be secure number one it should be programmable number two and it should be able to unlock liquidity for the digital financial markets of the future liquidity is the is an integral part of uh, finance and that is certainly required for interoperability connecting these in, in entire infrastructures blockchains and uh, help the digital financial markets go forward this is great lacc a usd retail cross-border b2b and remittance payments infrastructure leveraged uh, distributed ledger technology to increase financial inclusion improve the sustainability of supply chains protect intellectual property and reduce fraud Martin then described our involvement in the Bank of England's retail central bank digital currency experiment, which I told you guys, CBDC experiment, Project Rosalind, that tested how application programming interfaces could facilitate retail payments in CBDCs and support the exploration of innovative CBDC use cases. Guys, uh, regardless of how controversial CBDCs are, they are here to stay and the central banks are trying to experiment and uh, uh, look into their use cases. Although a lot of people say that uh, the, the via CBDCs, these uh, companies or banks are going to be monitoring, surveilling the uh, masses, the individuals, but that is already happening for, for those of us that do not realize uh, in the websites, in various social media apps, uh, a lot of them, we get our, we are basically are putting our data out there for the people to see, for the people to collect. Uh, a lot of cookies in various websites so it's already happening the surveillance part or the privacy part regardless of cbdc it is also happening don't you give your uh, information to banks to collect and to basically create an account a lot of a lot of stuff already happening in the legacy systems you do that already so people wear uh, fear CBDCs because they think that uh, crypto was here to make the space decentralized and revolutionize the entire system, but it is for certain these this system has been uh, it is here for a long time now and it has consolidated itself and disrupting it isn't easy. So basically, these projects are trying to integrate it with it. The projects such as Quant are trying to integrate with these legacy systems and provide good use cases and optimize our uh, for our benefits look at this uh, he outlined the key lessons from this project smart contracts lend themselves very well to simulating payment systems smart contracts and dlts are simpler to consume when they are made accessible to users via apis dlt performance is not yet proven three-party fund locks have potential across a wide range of use cases Furthermore, the, uh, we've got uh, the UK Finances regulate, uh, Regulated Liability Network that explored the future state of payments. The lessons he shared from this project were an industry overlay can provide the same benefits as tokenizing at a lower cost. Settlement doesn't have to be immediate. It can be rapid and safely guaranteed with locks. Building new products to create new revenue lines or simplifying existing processes is key to commercialization. 
banks may not want to share a ledger. A network of connected ledgers provides many of the same benefits. Martin that moved, then moved on to explore the different forms of tokenized money. Oh, look at this. We've got the central bank digital currencies. They are the safest. They are uh, much experimentation has happened in terms of CBDCs, most politically sensitive. Then we've got tokenized deposits, safe, subject to banking rules and regulatory work ongoing, commercial, uh, commercial and likely to be adopted. Uh, it will take a while for this, uh, in my opinion, still. We've got a lot of th stuff to do, even CBDCs, guys. We're, oh, we're in an experiment uh, experimental phase in all of them, still. Stable coins, less safe, much regulatory work ongoing. Barriers may be as high as banking. Crypto, not even remotely safe governed by different sets of regulation buyer beware okay so although uh, we are dealing with the crypto industries i would like to agree that uh, still we are far away from mass adoption due to the complexity of this industry complexity of DeFi, complexity of transacting a lot of stuff to be honest and uh, the to uh, regardless of the gains that the memes have given the uh, market being filled with memes hasn't helped this industry to be honest uh, it has it might have helped the individuals let uh, uh, you should know this and realize this absorb this data that I'm giving you guys that yeah it might be good for an individual or an in or in or an investor but it is not the meme hype is not good for the industry as a whole to make it mature this is why we're trying to f follow the projects that are a bit mature uh, or at least want to be a bit mature uh, and uh, take this industry forward and make and basically provide a real world use case and uh, if not even that at least make it legit in the eyes of veteran investors from the share market from the stock market anyways look at this the characteristics of truly valuable money uh, are that they are programmable instant settlement and atomicity uh, interoperable with existing systems new payment instruments that open up new revenue lines lower costs and mitigate risks awesome although cbdc's are regarded as the safest form of tokenized money not least because they're backed by central banks martin believes that tokenized deposits and stable coins as the most commercially viable uh, regardless of central bank cbdc's being regarded as the safest martin still believes that tokenized deposits and stable coins are as uh, are the most commercially viable but why why wouldn't financial institutions cons consider using these new forms of money the answer is programmability basically the functionality that quant has been at the forefront of developing alongside some of the financial institutions involved in these projects for tokenized money to work martin concluded it must be secure programmable and be able to unlock liquidity for the digital financial markets of the future uh, the use case of quant is huge if the team delivers and they at at attain what they want to attain quant can be huge guys not even in not not just in terms of price we're talking about or value but uh, 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 yeah not in, some, in terms of price but the value that it can provide to the fi to finance as a whole and to this industry as a whole and make it mature so uh, guys what do you guys think about uh, regulated tokenized money uh, that is quant apparently I would really like your opinions. Do hit the comment box below and let the community know. Anyways, guys, this was it for the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well. Like I always say in the end, until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned. Thank you very much, everyone.